Hello everyone and welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the first game of the main stage between New Zealand and Australia. Two teams who will be very very familiar with these conditions. And I have Nikhil Bai with me to hold you through this certain preview. How are you doing, Nikhil Bai? And before we get to this stage, tell me your thoughts on that whole qualifying stage. Oh, so slightly sad for the teams that missed out. Mm. I feel it's very unfortunate that we only get to see them very limited amount of time. Hopefully, with the 2024 World Cup having more teams in the main first round itself, it's better. Mm. So that should be taken care of. And uh, from the fantasy angle, I think. Things remain the same. Do not take risk with the safe guys uh, mm. because they are the ones who are continuing to do the job, no matter how much risk they take otherwise. So I think right. that will आगे भी continue करेगा और जय माता दी का साल तो है वेस्ट इंडीज निकल गई तो I will not be surprised if we have Zimbabwe, South Africa or somebody else winning the World Cup. Zimbabwe, that's a big call, and South Africa has been his call right from the start. But yes, yeah. whether they win the World Cup or not, like I had promised you before the World Cup started, that we have a line of offers that will come up from you right when the New Zealand game starts, and I'm going to fulfill that promise right away today. So before I get to the rest of the offers, the offer that I've discussed a lot of times, but is going to end tonight. If you are watching this preview on the twenty first, if you are not, then sorry, it's already over. Yeah. Is the depositors leaderboard, and you have to make the best deposit right here and right now because this is your last chance. And after that, you will not get another chance. So make your best deposit and then get to play the big games with that deposit cash. Proper. I think people have already made a lot of this uh, in itself, Abhi. So, but there is still a long way to go. So, आपको जितना भी deposit करोगे काम तो आई जाएगा. So. Make the full use of it again if you are watching it in time. Yes, absolutely. And on that note, we'll first up get to the venue conditions. So yes, we have the venue conditions, and this game is going to be played at the Sydney Cricket Ground. And till I present the ground dimensions, or rather the expected ground dimensions, let's hear what Nikhil Bai has to say about this specific ground. Yes, uh, Sydney venue that Australia like a lot. Uh, New Zealand don't. I think New Zealand don't like playing Australia at all. But I mean, क्या हो जाता है? They don't have the best kind of rhythm there. But uh, overall, it's a very uh, decent sized ground. आपको ऐसा कुछ? Yes, on the day we'll have to see whether there is a short boundary. Otherwise, because नहीं तो you see the square boundaries are a bit shorter. The pockets hmm. are big. तो आपका spin game में जरूर होगा. But On the day conditions, what are that is very very critical. Uh, the average score, as I said, it will not change much. It will remain what it is. And uh, I say I feel there might be a case of chasing teams starting to do better as compared to teams batting first. Mm-hmm. But again, it completely depend on the conditions that are there and how they expect them to change. Yes, totally. So, like Nikhil Bai mentioned, the square boundaries are shorter. This is also one of those grounds where medium pacers also tend to get a bit of help. And both these teams have, I won't say just medium pacers. Maybe you will call them medium fast or fast medium, however you term them. But yes, there are few of those bowlers. So that might be something for you to watch out for. So yes, now we look at our base team for the specific game. So yes, now we are on to our base team for this specific game. And before we get to the base team, keep in mind that the main leaderboard is going to begin tomorrow when the first game begins. Right before that, so you better join that leaderboard contest because you get to buy for these big prizes, which we've been waiting for all this while with the Renault cars, the Raider, and a lot of mobile phones and gold coins. So keep in mind that you join that leaderboard too. Yes, I think it is. Lucrative enough for you to first make a good deposit and then make the most of the double contest again. पहले भी कहा है मैं वापस कह रहा हूँ फैन टू पेपर आपको वो ईज मिलता है कि आप कॉम्बिनेशन अच्छा बना पाओ. Which is the reason why we keep saying you try करके देखो you will see the difference yourself. Yes, absolutely. And let's look at what base team we've set up for this game. So we have taken the guys who we assume will. 90% times be in our side in both scenarios so these are the 10 players obviously based on the conditions that might change but this is what we assume based on whatever pre info we have for now so in the keeping section we have gone with devin conway which is not 
too much of a point of discussion because Wade bats quite low, so it might be difficult for him to give you fantasy impact. And then three batters, David Warner, Aaron Finch and Glenn Phillips. So I'm not going to ask Nikhil by why these picks. I'm going to ask him why not Kane Williamson. Average of 20 against Australia. Chasing my average is 5. Hmm. Matchup against Zampa. Not been in the best of form. That's the only logic so far. Uh, hmm. But if you look at the last minute, like today, or like Andy Andy Balvani, so that came good, thankfully. Hmm. So you can always rely on Kane to give you handy points. Because again, he's probably a bit more safe. But hmm. he's not getting past those 25-30s. So it's a call that you can take whether you want to go for a 25-30 or you mm. want to take somebody who could contribute more with the bat and uh, potentially take a lot of catches. But I think all three uh, can do that and they are in hot spots mm. more most often. So again, that's the logic there. Right. So it's basically a call of balance versus explosiveness because the other options that we have in this section are pretty explosive. But on their day, they might go below 10 and on their day, they'll give you 40 plus with a lot of boundary points. So, yes, that's a balance call that you can take. Then when we look at the all-rounders that we have gone for, Glenn Phillips, uh, sorry, Glenn Maxwell and Michael Bracewell. Now, Michael Bracewell is known to come and take a lot of wickets with his off-spin. But Nikhil, by any thoughts on his batting and if you see him making a valuable contribution with the bat? Because many people would have this question that if New Zealand play five bowlers, will he actually be in the game? Yes, I think so. Uske liye ek chiz dekhte ki kitne bowlers New Zealand hai. Hmm. Uh, what I also feel sometimes is wrong with New Zealand is they have too many options and then hmm. they don't use them well. But jo humne I mean, this tournament we already seen with West Indies as well. That uh, they have not used Jason Oliver as a power play and rightfully they are going back home. Hmm. So, you cannot do that with your best players. But uh, for somebody like a Michael Bracewell, he's been in form in terms of making match impact. Hmm. And he's been making big match impact. So, that is a call that you can take whether you feel he'll continue to do that. If you think that no, Bracewell and no, Nisham will be role, kare, so you hmm. can easily swap him for Jimmy Nisham. Or even Mitchell Sack. So it is completely your call. Uh, you can take him that, on that spot. Right, fair call. And I think Australia, except for David Warner, up top in their top order, don't really have a left hander up until Wade. So do you see him opening the bowling to Warner? Because if Warner ends up going to that matchup to bowl, then he might not bowl at all. I still feel Warner is good enough to see off anybody. Uh, hmm. And he's actually better against. Almost all kinds of bullying apart from new ball swing. Uh, hmm. Call him that. So, you, we already have Saudi and Trent Bolt in our sides for that particular matchup. So, I think uske alawa mein, I'll not roam around much with, with David at least. Right, fair call. And that brings us to the bowlers. Hazelwood, Stark, Saudi and Bolt. So, we have taken four bowlers. And like you can see in this full team till now, we have taken only a total of 10 players. We have left the 11 slot. To take for the spinner that bowls second. So if Ish Sodi yeah. bowls second, then him. If Zampa bowls second, then we'll go with him. And uh, here also, if you see in, in terms of options, I think these are the best ones based on recent form. Hmm. You could take Loki, you could take Pat, you could take uh, somebody else as well in terms of Mitchell Sandner. But then you have to be very sure of who it is that is going to you know, really make that impact. Okay? If you condition not have the right conditions, then the team And Australia usually do start favourites. In this you will say, as of now, Maxwell is the only guy who is not picked on form, but is picked hmm. more on potential. But uh, yeah, as I said, you can easily change that. You could swap him for somebody like a final and up top. If you feel he'll be able to see off Josh and uh, start. So that's completely your call as well. Right, and absolutely fair call too. As far as captaincy and vice captaincy is concerned, are you going with the all rounders in Maxwell and Bracewell, or are you going with the bowlers in Bolt Hazelwood? I'll be very tempted to go Josh Hazelwood and Trent Bolt. Hmm. Uh, you could even go with Tim Saudi. Tim Saudi has the knack of taking wickets. You, it doesn't always need to be 3 4, but he can take a couple, give you a hmm. couple of hits as well. So, uh, Josh bowling first, him my captain, and vice captain can be Trent Bolt. I, you could easily reverse. Trent Bolt loves playing the Aussies. We saw that in the recent ODI series as well. 
यू कैप थिंकिंग दैट कि आज नहीं लेगा आज नहीं लेगा बट ही स्टिल टेकिंग दोस विकेट्स तो जैसा हमने अब तक सीखा है फॉर्म से मस्ती मत करो तो फॉर्म से मस्ती नहीं कर रहे और जोश और बोल्ड को अभी बैट कर रहा है बट यू कुड इजीली स्विच इट ऑफ फॉर डेविड वॉर्नर और एरन फिंच फिंच लव्स टू प्ले न्यूजीलैंड एंड अगेन जितना भी हमने वार्म अप में देखा हिज लुक बेटर एंड द मैचअप है विद बोल्ड दैट्स आल्सो नॉट टू बैड तो अगेन enough signs to back him but otherwise as i said you could have mitchel marsh for glen maxwell he could be a handy slot abhi unhe nahi le kyunki we don't know how fit marsh is to bowl hmm. while expecting while we are expecting maxwell to bowl a bit so wo option all rounder ka abhi bhi open hai maxwell stoinis and uh, mitch marsh right absolutely so that is what rounds up our base team for now and uh, like i promised there's something special for everyone who signed up with the fcp refer code so hit the like button and till then i'll show you what so yes like you can see on your screen we have the investment leaderboard also starting tomorrow and investment leaderboard is little less complication you just simply need to join as many entry fee contests as you can and you get to win this smart speaker whoever is on top of that leaderboard and like we know as the app is new you can take the early advantage as they are much newer than many other apps in the market so we have few users with the fcp refer code so if you are watching this video go take that advantage right now and join as many contests as you can bilkul no better chance to win a handy thing and we know how strong the base is so let's keep growing yes absolutely and now we have your favorite section when nikhil bhai mm. tells you his mm. one grand league option and here we go stage is all yours mm. nikhil bhai yeah i think uh, we're just going by whatever has happened so far uh, this is a proper proper grand league call Uh, hmm. and it could end in one ball but uh, gupta ji okay. acha gupta ji uh, gupta ji gupta ji <laughs> will not get out in one ball i hope uh, but martin gupta i don't think i think he's very lucky to still be part of this setup for new zealand uh, hmm. they, they probably could have moved on but uh, there are signs paul selling scored a 50 craig hmm. arawan has scored a 50 I don't know. I'm just trying to read too much, maybe, but that's again, it's only for Grand League. Right, and quite an exciting call that one. Like it is with an opener always. My call, like always, the slightly more boring one is the all-rounder Jimmy Neesham. If he bats first and bowls second, yeah. it's that call for me. Fair call, fair call. Yeah, I'm going. I'm mm-hmm. I'm favoring uh, the medium pacers on that count. and uh, before we close this preview like i had informed you we'll be doing a daily giveaway for all of you which is going to be off the fan to play jersey so like you can see on your screen you simply need to predict and this is for the new zealand versus australia game who will be the highest pointer of the game all you need to do is put down in the comments the name of the player and the predicted points of that player whoever is closest fastest and first wins obviously no multiple comments no edited comments no deleting and adding comments post the deadline none of that will work yeah because in that doesn't forget so yeah you should not forget to but yes great chance to win a handy jersey every game but yes as we keep saying multiple combinations ka time hai ye ye tournament isi ke liye bana hai to try out to multiple combinations with safe captain vice captain and then you can rotate as well but uh, they go This is the time to make the most of all the leaderboards. There is an FCP oh, yes. leaderboard, there is a tournament leaderboard. No better chance to climb that ladder and get some very good rewards. Yes, absolutely. So don't miss this chance. Remember to watch the whole preview so that you get to learn all the insights that I got from Nikhil by today. And we hope that you enjoyed this preview. Share it with as many people as possible, and do tune in for the next one too between England and Afghanistan. Thank you so much, and we hope you have a great game. Have a good game guys. Happy winnings.